Coco is purring on your back. Dad. Yes, Elena, how are you? I'm fine. What is Tayo doing with Abel? Oh, Dad, he came to take her out to know the town. And you agreed to this arrangement? There's nothing wrong there. Tayo is your sister, and Abel is going to be your husband, so the two of them should bond. If that's what you want. Are you thinking your sister will try to take away your husband? I know Abel is not marrying me because he loves me. All this is just about business and shares. How I wish you studied business like me and not science like your mother, my dear. I will just go up to my room. Why not join me? Or are you still angry with your dad? Abel never takes me out. And he decides to take Tayo out and you accept it. And you are saying I should be happy. I will talk to him to take you out since that's what you want. I don't like them both in this house. You won't say such words from your mouth, Elena. Martha is my wife and your new mom. And Tayo is your sister. You should be helping her fit in well with the society and stop getting angry. Abel is helping you do what you can't and you are complaining. This place is beautiful, Abel. I know you will love it here. That's why I brought you here. There are more other beautiful places you will love to go. Wow, if you will take me to all of them, I will surely want to go. Consider it all done. So tell me more about yourself. Ask what you want to know and I will tell you about it. I want to know about your love life. Who is the man in your heart now? The man in my heart right now is the one sitting across from me. <laughs> You're very funny. That's my second name. I'm very funny and love to do nothing and crazy, naughty and crazy things. I love that. I love the wild nature in you. We are going to have a very good time, Abel. Where have you been all this while? You came out of nowhere and you swept me off my feet. I'll be right here. You are just so blinded that you refuse to see me. My eyes have received Ili now. I am now seeing you and I am sure I am always going to see you. What do you love doing if you are not working? I love watching football. I use that to relax. Nice. I love football a lot and I love the business world. Why do we share the same interests together? Looks like I now have a gossiping and football partner. Yes, you do have them both. I think she's still using the same password as before. She changed the password. Well, it should be my birthday dates or hers. Why would she just change the password like that? What is she hiding that I don't know about? Why would she change the password without telling me? Was it after she collected the system from me that she was hiding something from me that she doesn't want me to know? I'm going to get to the root of this. I have to find out what she's hiding from me. I've told you to stop coming into my room several times. You are no fun. Can't we just get along and be friends? I can never be your friend. Really? Can't we just share things like Abel, your fiancé? How can we share such a thing? You've been with him for so long. It's time for me to spend time with him too, you know. You're funny, Tayo. Oh, let me tell you about our auntie today. I'm not sure you have had this kind of fun with him before. I don't want to hear it. I'm not interested. Come on. You have to listen to me. We went to get ice cream, shared one cup, held and I rode the horse together. He held me tight so I wouldn't fall and then he said I love you. <laughs> really? Oh, you were listening. I didn't even know you were listening. Don't let him deceive you. Our marriage has been arranged and there is no going back on it. Why do you want to come between two lovers, Elena? Do you want to force him into marrying you? He won't speak you over me. I know you are more beautiful than me, but he won't speak you over me. How sure are you? 100% sure. You better stop your fantasies before you ruin your marriage. It's just a fantasy. It's not like I'm cheating. Thinking about it already creates a possibility that it can happen. So you're saying anything I think in my heart can come to life? Yes, anything. That's a lie. Do you know how many things I've thought about? Stop with your advice. Just because it hasn't happened to you doesn't mean it's not true. Are you trying to say everything you think about comes to life? Not everything I think about comes to life, but everything we see on earth was in the mind of a human. So it means everything created was first in the mind before it came to reality. How are you getting smarter and smarter? Seeking knowledge, baby girl. But you know, that dream aspect is not my fault. I don't control my dreams. You mean calling his name in your dreams? Yes, I don't know how to control that. Control what is on your mind. Stop the fantasies unless you want them to come true. Do you want them to? I don't know. Don't ask me such questions. Ha, you are a married woman, my friend. But she remind me that I'm not single. Yes, because if I hear any nonsense, I won't take it lightly with you. I want us to go out, my friend. I'm not interested. What do you mean you're not interested? I don't feel like going out. Are you sure you're fine? 
This lady is hiding something from me. I can sense it. Who is that? My wife. How did you know? Elia was on her computer reading something. She didn't let me continue. She said it's just a story. It's nothing. It can just be a normal story. I thought so, but wasn't sure. So I went back to the computer and now she has changed her password. She changed her password? Yes. Hmm. She's definitely hiding something. And what can a lady hide from a man? A guy. That's what's on my mind. Or is she cheating? I didn't say so, but it's possible. How are we going to open this computer now? Do you know any hackers? Getting a hacker shouldn't be hard, right? Because I want to know what she's hiding. I also want to know. So, this is how this man made his money. Boldness is very important in this life. He says something vital in this book. Boldness is not the absence of fear, but going through with the presence of fear. Baby girl, I just read about boldness. Come, let me tell you everything. Just like I did when you were little. Wow, that's nice, Dad. But well, I don't have the time right now. Maybe another time. You don't even have time for me anymore. You don't need my time. That's why you married a new wife and had a new daughter. Is that how you see it? You are still in this house, baby girl. A house I don't live in peace in. You just know that you replace me and mom with you and your wife. I understand how you feel. I don't expect you to accept them so easily, but with time, you will learn to. I know this. They both love you. Who loves me? Your sister and your new mom. Dad, I won't agree to that. They don't love me at all, not a bit. They are just here to make my life worse. To make it easier. I wish what you were saying was even true. It's okay, Alina. No drama, please. So, why did you come and disturb my reading? So, what can I do? How can I stop Noah's thoughts and dreams? Why are you asking me such a question? I feel you have an answer. The truth is, even if I tell you what to do, you won't do it. Why do you say so? Because you are not ready to let Noah go. I've let him be since Sophia. Then why is he still in your thoughts? I don't know. That's because you haven't truly let him go. I don't think we can find a hacker. I've given up already. <laughs> How do I become more of a man? This is funny. When I was telling you during your single days to do things of the world, you refused. Now look at the kind of question you're asking me. Yes, now these are questions you ask when you're married, not when you're single. So it's a question you ask when you're married. Why are you not asking an unmarried man? That's because you did things that married people do. In other words, you're a very bad boy. I like what I am hearing, so I need to give you a lot of lessons. I need a lot of lessons. Even though I know they are not that good, I will just manage them. If you don't manage them, I will leave you very soon. Don't try it. You can leave, but not now. I need some money. What is she asking for? She just needs some money. Don't give her anything. It's not you that will decide for my dad. You know what? Go to the kitchen and wash the plates. I'm talking to my dad. Even if you don't respect me, at least respect him. I said go to the kitchen and wash the plates now. I didn't even eat today. Tell your daughter to go and wash the plates. What do you mean my daughter? Aren't you my daughter too? Who is your daughter? Do I look like your daughter? Please don't ever say that again in your life and tell your daughter to go and wash the plates. That's enough, Elena. It's okay. I'll wash the plates myself. No, you won't. Elena, listen to your mom and go and wash the plates. Dad, she's not my mom. Okay, listen to your stepmom and wash the plates. Daddy, I didn't eat in this house. It's unfair for me to wash the plates. Why it's her and her daughter who ate? I also ate. I want you to wash the place as if it's only me who used all the place to eat. Dad, when will you ever take my side in this house? Your father is just being a father by doing what is right, not taking sides. So just go to the kitchen and make your hands wet. <laughs> you end up spoiling me, Abel. No, I can't. I am a good influence in your life. You are not. a bad influence. I might be a bad influence, but the bad things I am teaching you will have a positive impact in your life. Yes, that's because it's me. I know how to turn your advice into something positive. So, we couldn't get into the system? We couldn't, my friend. Because of this, my child must learn how to hack. See you, don't make your son become a criminal because you want him to hack things. We will be very close and we will hack into his mother's phone, a bank account and everything. What if he likes his mom more than you? Then they do the reverse by hacking into your own phone and bank account. That's why we train the one that loves me very well. The rest will become church people. They should go and learn keyboard in church. Imagine. 
But that one, the Aka, won't even be going to church before he tells me God said he shouldn't do this. You want to destroy your child's life because you want to hack into your wife's phone. I thought I was worse than you. You are worse than me. It's just that I am frustrated, my friend. Hello, guys. Mrs. Jeremiah, it's really nice to see you. Thank you, dear. Baby, how are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. I'm sorry, will you you gentlemen to what you guys were doing? I need to go inside. What do you want to discuss inside? Work, my love. On your system? Yes, on my system. Or is there anything? Nope, nothing. Alright, I might not come out until you leave. So let me say my goodbyes to you, April. Thank you. You see what I'm saying? Now she will be on her system and she might not come out again. That's because she's working. What? Are you taking her side? I thought we were on this together before now. I am just saying she might actually be working truly. Why do people misuse what they have? When you misuse a thing, its value is lost. How lucky is favor, but she doesn't know what she has. How can you have gold and wish you had bronze? Imagine having gold and you are saying you prefer bronze. How can you say you prefer bronze to gold? A person who is not satisfied with gold and wishes for bronze will be heartbroken. When he gets the bronze, he eventually gets the bronze he wants. I was told you were here. Hmm, yes, here I am. See, good girl, washing the plates in the house. What can I do? It's been a long time since I saw you do this. It seems like your stepmom is really training you. She's training herself, not me. <laughs> Babe, you look sick. Really? Yes. Maybe it is stress and the fact that mom is late. No, I want you to go to the hospital and do a test. You look very heavy. Hmm, who wants all of this? Did somebody enter this house or oh, my fantasy coming to reality? This was like something no one would do. Wait, they don't want to do this. You who got this child gifts here? Who else would it be if not your loving husband? Oh, baby, I've been so romantic. You can say that again. Well, baby, it's not my birthday. Yes, outsiders can give you gifts when it's not your birthday. But I, your baby, can give to you anytime. I love you. I love you more. What's this? What's all this? Babe, you don't like them? I don't really like such clothes. This, this looks like rags. If I wear this, won't I look like I'm mad? But they're fine. Find my foot. Come on, they're beautiful. Then go give them to your mother to wear because I can't wear these things. Look at the colors. I'm really trying my best, Favor. You're not trying anything. You don't, you don't used to learn. How will you buy such clothes that if I wear, people will think I'm mad? Or am I a beggar? Can't you see it? Hmm. If I wear this clothes by your side, don't you feel ashamed? Or do you want me to start begging in the street? How would I want you to be begging on the street? I just saw a cloth and I thought it would look good on you. It's clothes that looks like beggar's clothes. That would look good on you. How can you even think that kind of thoughts? It's okay. I'll return them. Better. Should have just bought a bowl together with the clothes so that I would just start begging. Well, why is it that you don't appreciate anything I do for you? What's going on? Are you okay? I'm fine. You are not. You look ill. Look at your eyes. Dad, my eyes are like this because of tears. You need to stop crying. Your mom might be gone, but I'm still here for you. And I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Don't even think of dying and leaving me alone. You can't do that. I can't die now. God hasn't permitted it. You still need me. Yes, I do. I need you to go to the hospital, Elena, and get yourself checked. I told you, Dad. My eyes are like this because of the tears. Then your throwing up is because of what? Because of stress. Dr. Elena, well done. <laughs> So now stress causes one to vomit. No, I think I ate the wrong food. Wrong food combinations. You see, you're not even sure. That's why it's good to go to the hospital to know exactly what's wrong. Immediately you feel off. You don't assume. Dad, I'm not assuming. That's what you are doing. Okay, if you say so. Do not be disobedient to your dad. Try and get yourself checked and treated. Or should I follow you? No, don't worry. I will go by myself. Alright then. Thank you for checking up on me, Dad. Don't mention it. It's my responsibility. Oh, Abel, always running through my mind. How did mom even get us into this house? Mom, you are so smart. I love you. Let me call Abel. Oops, why didn't he pick up this call? Is he with someone else? Hmm, it's fine. Hello? Hi, Tayo. How are you doing? I am doing fine, dear. And work? Work is going fine. Won't you come over today? Today? Yes. Um, I will be a bit occupied today. Oh, 
yeah i have lots of work to do today that's why i couldn't answer your call then but i just had to call back because it's you really so if it wasn't me you wouldn't have called back yes of course oh uh, but we won't see today you know i might come over today let's leave it like that you might see me later you are just the best if bell no i am not you are the best we'll catch up later let me continue with my work so i can finish fast and we can have time to see each other later i agree to get that so see you later bye why don't I appreciate what you do for me? Please, is that a question? Yes, I try my best to do all I can, but you don't appreciate it. Okay, look at this way. Imagine I buy you a coffin. What's a coffin? It's where they put dead cups in. Why would you buy me a coffin? Oh, so you can say that. Can't you see what you're getting from me? How will you compare these clothes to a coffin? They are worse than a coffin because at least in a coffin, a person is dead. But I'm alive and you want me to wear this kind of clothes. How bad am I? I fear God. I've done different things for you at different times, but you always end up complaining, and I'm tired of your complaints. That's because I don't like them. If I don't like them, I don't like them. If I like them, why won't I collect them? So, what do you like? Are you asking me? Am I not your wife? You can't tell what I like. I don't know what you like anymore. It's more like the person I courted with wasn't who I married. Oh, so you're trying to say I've changed? Yes, you've changed, and you're getting worse every day. I did not change, it's just that you never knew me. I'm tired of getting gifts for you. I'm tired of arguing with you. You know what? Come out. That's what you always do. Head out. You can't stand the conversation with your wife. Seems like Abel is getting tired of me. He hesitated towards seeing me using work as an excuse. Mm. It's all because of this lady's work, Elena. Elena is the one behind this. She must have been trying behind me to poison his mind. Why would he even choose to marry her if not because of her dad and the company? Jeremiah? Hi, can I come in? Yes, sure. Are you fine? No, I'm not. Your friend is just something else. What did she do this time? I bought her gifts and she said she doesn't like them. Really? What did you get for her? Does it even matter? It is a gift. At least there should be appreciation attached to it. That's true. I don't know why she always treats you this way. I've gotten tired. I don't think I can meet up with her expectations. Why not just ask her what she likes? Maybe take her out to get her own things. Like this, I'm tired of everything. You won't get tired. She will still end up changing. She will change. She's getting worse. She will change. Don't give up on her. She better change because I'm already getting tired. I can't forget the day you asked us to go to Paris. It was like a joke because I asked you where you were going and you said no. I was so prepared but you ordered me saying, baby pack your bags, the best things in life are unplanned. And I was forced to follow you not knowing the best things waiting for me in Paris. What she bought for me, the boutique stores we entered, the French class we took together. I still remember some words like bonjour. I remember a French teacher telling me that you can't learn French because you spoil their language purposely. Our bonnet was funny when the man kicked you out of this class and I had to quit so. I really enjoyed the memories we had and they keep coming back to me daily. I don't know why but maybe it's because we are close by. I have been waiting for you. Why aren't we supposed to go out? I'm sorry, it's just that I haven't been feeling so well. I told you that day to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's true, but I have been throwing up. Throwing up? Yes. Or are you pregnant or something? From where? Me who hasn't known any man before. How could I be pregnant? I think it's food poisoning. Maybe Mata and her daughter have planned to kill me. <laughs> you cannot die, my friend. I'm telling you, I can't. So what will you do? I'll go to the family hospital and get a checkup. Okay. Come on, follow me, please. Kai, are you sure we have the time? Please no. It's me, your friend. Wait, let me think about it. She will change. Don't worry. I will talk to her. One more thing. Do you think Trevor is seeing anyone? No, she's not. Even if she is, will you tell me? Yes, I will. I might. It depends. Hmm. Well, are you sure she's not seeing anyone? Even if it's a friend? They don't have to have anything together. I haven't seen her with any guy except you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hmm. Why do we have two separate rooms, baby? It's for us to have privacy. What kind of privacy do you want to have from your wife? I'm already used to having a room to myself since I was young. I see. So, this time you didn't call me to your room. You came yourself to see me. Yes, and that's because I want to write my will and I want to give some of my properties to your daughter, Tayo. Wow. Since your company is already going to your daughter through Abel, let's have it that you give Elena's mom's company to Tayo. Elena's mom's company is out of my hands. What do you mean it's out of your hands? It cannot be given by me. It does not belong to me. Who owns it? It belongs to Elena.